Hi and welcome to Next Generation Academy's exam preparation course. To join this course, just click on join this course. If you don't join, some of the stuff will be available, but the cool stuff won't. Okay, so click on join this course. It's absolutely free, so why not? Okay, click on join this course. Type in your email, Mr. Know It All, email.com. Enroll in this course. You'll get an email. Just go to your inbox and click that you've received it and then go ahead once you've accepted the invitation this is what you'll see on the left hand side you can see there's a bunch of stuff you can go and explore like on discussions you can post questions announcements if we want to tell you something conferences where we can actually have an online group class that's quite cool so there's a bunch of cool stuff go and play around on it what i want to show you is under modules so when you click on modules it will take you to a page that gives the course content okay so at this stage we only have functions and graphs for paper one and trigonometry for paper two uh, we've been able to work a little bit more on functions and graphs so there's a bunch of stuff like topics linear functions converting between quadratic formats and if you click on any of them it will take you to a page where we have like a video explanation some reading if you are into that if you click on next it will take you through the course here, for example, we have a Khan Academy exercise, which, by the way, is awesome. Go and play around in Khan Academy as well. Okay, you see, quite cool. Now, I'm going to go back to modules because what I want to show you is the exam type questions. As a matric student, you are going to be facing this at the end of the year. Exam type questions are questions that look similar to what you might find in the exam. For example, if I click on exact type questions where we have parabolas and straight lines, it will take you to a page. If it asks you to log in, just click log in. Okay, and here you can see this question. Take a good look at it. Okay, and there are some questions relating to that picture. Go ahead and answer them as best you can. And if you do get stuck, for example, question one, you don't know how to answer question one you can find at the bottom some videos explaining how to do question one. Cool. Once you've finished answering, submit. I haven't answered any questions, so it will warn me. And now you see I've got zero. If I click on reattempt the last question, I won't be able to get 15 out of 15, which I need to succeed. But after my next attempt, it will start giving me the answers. If I ask, try a similar question, I will be able to get 15 out of 15. But after I've submitted it and still had it wrong, it won't give me the correct answers. So if I say reattempt the last question, you should notice that it's a little bit different than the previous question. But I can only get 10.5 out of 15. But now you notice that it has this additional part. Show answer, show answer, show answer. Now it gives me the answers automatically to all of the questions. How does this help me? Well, I can look at the answer and see if I can figure out why does this block need to get that answer? But again, this time I can only get 6 out of 15 if I answer everything correctly. And I need 15 out of 15 to get credit for having done this question. If you don't need the answers anymore, and you want to get 15 out of 15 for this question, after you've submitted it once again, and hopefully now you have 6 out of 15 because you got all 6 points. But you want 15 out of 15. Just click on try a similar question. This time it will generate a new question. But you will be able to get 15 out of the 15 points if you answer everything 100% correct. 
Well, I really hope this is going to be helpful to you and it's free, so go ahead, use it. If you have any questions, go to discussions, post your questions. If you have any recommendations, things you want to see on here, things you're struggling with, go ahead, post it on there and I promise I'll do my best to get to everything. Well, I hope you have a stunning exam, good luck, and I hope you get A's all round. See you around.